Hey guys, my name is Samantha and I'm Sarah and today we're doing a story time video. It's quite an interesting one. It is about a guy. We will not disclose his name. We're going to call him Wally. Yeah. We have a very interesting story to tell you about Wally. So basically Gumtree is a website where you can buy and sell secondhand items and we were getting a fridge for our new apartment. So I decided that I was going to buy the fridge. And so I searched for ages, I searched everywhere, I wanted a silver fridge, one that looked brand new, I knew exactly what I wanted, and I had found this fridge and it was only $270. That's so cheap, you know, like for a fridge that is basically brand new. I was like, I'll have it. The only thing was that the fridge was at this guy's house and we don't have a ute or a trailer and we're two very small girls, so we were yeah. like to him, if we give you $300, will you deliver the fridge to us? And he's like, yeah, that's cool, but come and have a look at the fridge first and see if you like it. We got the address and we decided to head over. It was in a fairly wealthy suburb, but his house would have been like, we rocked up. The wealthiest. Yeah, we rocked up to his house and it probably would have been like the wealthiest one in the entire street for sure. It was like, it was three, a gated mansion. Yeah, it was like three stories. So he told us that one of his nannies would be home and she would be able to let us in and show us. The fridge. Yeah. But then we get there and there's no one home. And we call him and he's like, then oh right, the nanny's out walking the dog. But the weird thing was that we could hear dogs inside the house. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're still on the phone with him. And so he's like, that's fine, just head up to the door and open it. And we were like, what? And at the time we didn't even think. We were like, yeah, okay, cool. We'll yeah. just go in. Still though, we were like, stupid. Still we were like, that's so weird, like this guy's letting us into his house. So we unlock the front door and we're still on the phone with him and he basically guides us through his house over the phone. He was like, you know, go through this room and then open this door and we're like, are, are there cameras that we're being watched? But we, you know, we're going through his house and then we see lockers, like there's probably like 20 lockers, like yeah. 50 pairs of children's shoes and we're like, yeah. is this an orphanage? Like, is this an Nanny McPhee or something? Yeah. So we headed into the room um, where the fridge was and that's where, yeah, like all those shoes were and they just had like times 10 of everything. Like it was just super weird. But I saw the fridge and I was like, yep, I want it, yeah. I've got it. Like we were still on the phone to him. And then he also asked us if we like needed anything else. And we were like, yeah, like we need a washing machine as well. And he's like, I've got that. And I was like, does it happen to be like a front loader? And he was like, yeah, like he just had everything that we wanted. Like it was just weird. Like it was just so ironic. The washing machine wasn't in the house. It was in a storage shed. We were cool with the fridge. We were cool with the washing machine. And we were saying goodbye to him. And he's like, oh, before you guys leave my house, you can go upstairs and pet our dogs if you want. Yeah. And I was like, yes. And then um, yeah. we started to go upstairs and it was all like, it had like security fences and stuff and then we were kind of using our brains now and we were like, this is weird, we should yeah. probably not. And so then we just left. He tells us that his family friend, Lachlan, is going to deliver the fridge and the washing machine this evening to us via a trailer and he's going to deliver it at about 8 o'clock. And he tells us on the phone that he'll send us Lachlan's number. We don't receive Lachlan's number, so we call him again, and he's yeah. like, yeah, I'll send you Lachlan's number. We still don't get his number, and this is yeah. back and forth for a few hours, yeah. and then it gets to 8 o'clock. And he doesn't show up, and so we text him. He ended up messaging us two hours later, being like, um, Lachlan can't come now, like, I'll come now. And we're like, oh my god, okay, whatever. Um, and then he texts us the photo of the trailer to show us that he's coming, but the photo of the trailer was taken like during sunlight and it's now like 10 o'clock at night. Later that night. We just give up. We're so tired. We've just moved in. Like, Yeah, he doesn't show up at all. Yeah. But we reschedule for 6 o'clock in the morning before I go to work. We wake up in the morning and I fully get ready for work and he's communicated with us but he doesn't show up on time of course. So I go yeah. to work <laughs> and I leave Sarah at the house by herself yes. waiting for Wally. By myself with Wally. So then he texts me and says he's on his way and he rocks up about two hours later. Anyway, he rocks up in like a minivan with the trailer. Just get, by himself. Yeah, he like, yeah, by himself. He gets out of the car, he's like so much younger than I thought, like, yeah, 30, but looks a lot younger. He gets out of the car straight away and like gives me a hug and I was like, what the hell are you doing? Lucky he bought one of those like pushy trolley things so that he yeah. could push it up the stairs. And that was fun. He came upstairs and he pushed the fridge 
and then he yeah. walks straight into our apartment, walks straight to the balcony and takes a photo of the view. Yeah. Is that um, creepy girl? Like, yeah, he just puts the fridge down straight away and then he starts like walking around the rooms and like looking everywhere and I I'm wasn't poke. I wasn't just gonna be like, what are you doing? Like I just I was like what are you doing? Yeah, I was <laughs> like, what are you doing? But I didn't say, what are you doing? I mean, I think it was really weird that he took a photo of our view because we don't just have like a view of the city. We have a view of like a local park. Like yeah. it's, it's not really that magnificent. At that point, I realized um, he didn't come with the washing machine. At that point, we yeah, didn't realize. Yeah, just the fridge. Yeah, at that point, we thought the um, washing machine was coming as well. He um, installs it and everything. And then I check my um, pocket because I'm about to pay him as he leaves and the money isn't there and I was like yeah, oh. so before she went down to get the fridge she put $450 cash in her yeah, pocket yeah because I was paying for the washing machine as well and that's how much everything was all together so I had $450 in my pocket and as he's installed the fridge about to leave I go to check my pocket to pay him and my money isn't there so I quickly walk around the house like looking everywhere and my money wasn't anywhere I'm um, sorry I told him oh can I just pay you like when the washing machine comes and I was like oh, I'll just go get more money out um, and then I'll find all the yeah, money so he doesn't know at this point that we've lost our money he leaves I don't escort him out five minutes later so we have like a gate to get into our car park yeah we live in a building yeah and I was like oh crap I don't have the key like is he gonna be able to get out so I went downstairs and I just wanted to to check that he had gotten out because like I said it is gated so I was like oh crap he'll be waiting there um I went down and he had somehow gotten out I have no idea how so after I checked that he had left um I was like I better look for my money like in case it's like fallen out of my pocket or something and so I was walking up and there was like a $50 note in the middle of the driveway and I was like well that's got to be mine obviously like and later on I had actually checked like my money was nowhere so I knew that it had fallen out of my pocket because I was like doing a lot of running around like trying to find him at the start and I walked around the entire car park which is quite big it's two stories yeah quite big to go look around and altogether I found one fifty dollar note out of my four hundred and fifty dollars and I was like, I was texting Samantha frantically and I was like, you will have no idea. You I was have... at work, I didn't see all of this until Yeah, later. I was like, you would have no clue what just happened. I was like, I have just lost the entire money to pay Wally. And I was like, is this a joke? I now have to go to the bank and get another $400 out. Now this is ending up being $850 for a fridge and washing machine. So I went upstairs and I actually called him and I was like, hey Wally, like, did you happen to see like my money or anything? It's, it fell out of my pocket, like, and he's like, no, sorry, darling. And then I said goodbye and I was like, see you later, like when he was bringing our washing machine. And I went to the bank and I got another $400 out at midday. He said, I'm ready with the washing machine. What time would you like me to come over? I was like, I'm with my mum. I'll give you a text when to come over. Half an hour later, I text him. I'm ready, can you please come over now? He didn't text me back, I texted him again, he didn't text me back. We texted him a Colin. few Yeah, we texted him a few times like that entire day and then the next day and he just never replied to us. Wally disappeared from the face of the earth. Yeah, so our first theory was that, you know, Wally, like probably any person, saw the money on the floor in the car park and was like free money and pocketed it and then yeah. later realised when Sarah called him that it was her money and he felt like weird and bad about it yeah. so he didn't especially because he is quite wealthy so like he should feel quite bad that because I'm a 19 year old girl so he never came back so we never actually paid him for the fridge but he does have $400 of our money but we yeah. were also kind of freaked out because he'd been in our apartment and taken photos of it and stuff so we kind of were like is he gonna come back like are we gonna get abducted yeah. we honestly um, like and we'd been in his house as well yeah we honestly thought that like he had like plotted something because it was just so weird that we had ended up in this rich person's house with no one else in there. Who does that? I would never let someone mm. in our house, like, no. And 
Another weird thing is that we still only have one key for our apartment because the real estate that we're with made a mistake, which is a whole nother story, but we've had to leave the house unlocked at times because we work opposite Rusters and Sarah has the house key and I don't. Yeah. Um, so we were like, are we going to come home and Wally's going to literally be in our house on the balcony. Yeah. And like um, some nights we would be like alone here and I was like literally scared. I was like, Wally is coming for me. Like, uh, he is near and he is coming. You were, Wally. Yeah. But still to this day, we've never heard from Wally again. He's pretty much dead, I think. The washing machine never showed up. We had to get one from someone else. So I never had to give him any of the money. Like, oh, but myself. He, yeah. Yeah, he does have, like, $400 of my money. Probably. Yeah, I mean... That's our theory, anyway. It's not too bad. Like, it's better than me having to have forked out, like, $900 altogether. Yeah. But, yeah, that is a weird story about our fridge and our stolen money and thinking we were going to get abducted or broken into. We're alive. I hope you guys can, like, actually, like, fathom the story. Like, actually find it, like so weird like as weird as we do yeah. i mean when i yeah. told like my colleagues and stuff they were like you need to call the police you need to lock yeah. the door and i was like <laughs> yeah but we hope you enjoyed our story time today i feel like our life has a lot of weird stories like this so if you yeah. want to see more let us know down below we will see you guys in the next video so like comment and subscribe bye, bye.